GRACE stands for Guided Relaxation in Acupuncture, and we're focused specifically on individuals with sickle cell disease um, and managing their chronic pain with these two different um, complementary and integrative modalities. We finished our first year of planning, and now we're in our first year of implementation. Um, and so we're recruiting patients as, as we're going along this year. We're doing a hybrid effectiveness implementation trial. Um, and what this is, is that we're looking at as I said previously, the guided relaxation and acupuncture, because these are two proven to have good effect on managing pain um, interventions. Guided relaxation is primarily a mind-based intervention, and then acupuncture is primarily a body-based intervention. So we're looking at their effectiveness in this trial, which means can they be also effective in regular clinical care? And then we're also adding the implementation piece, which is how do we put this into regular practice? And the other way we're doing that is by using what's called a smart design, which is sequential randomization that allows us to tailor um, the randomization based on how the participant is doing. If they come back after six weeks, you know, in, in regular clinical practice and they say, guided relaxation was awesome, you know, my pain is gone, then I say, hallelujah. But the challenge then is getting that implemented into um, a regular clinical practice with all of the things we normally do with regular clinical practice, as well as having the research rigor in collecting the data and that sort of thing. Another thing is that we're implementing this in not just one clinical system, but in three clinical healthcare systems. And although they are all academic medical centers with EPIC, which is the electronic medical record that is used in all three systems, there's still quite a bit of difference, you know, as you can imagine from one sickle cell clinic to another sickle cell clinic. If you look at the homepage for Duke, if you look at the homepage for University of Illinois, if you look at the homepage for Florida, they're all a little bit different and how you navigate through is different in each healthcare system. So how to put um, which of your measures where in the medical system has been a little bit of a challenge as well. What we're really looking forward to, quite honestly, is overall increasing and improving the quality of life for our patients with sickle cell. Um, as I said earlier, uh, pain is such a part of their lives. Um, chronic pain is is kind of one of the hallmarks of, of sickle cell disease in, in so many ways. Um, and also because pain is so common and prevalent in sickle cell disease and the pain affects every aspect of your life. Um, if we can just help manage the pain, the quality of life will be so much better um, for our patients. They have a lot of struggles and um, if we can, uh, make those struggles less um, and take away that, or it, it maybe not take away, but even if we can ratchet it down a little bit, you know, so that there's more things that they can accomplish in their lives, I think that's number one. We would love to be able to enact policy change. And this is at a number of different levels, really. Um, certainly at the system level, so at our healthcare systems. And when I talk about policy change, I'm talking specifically about complementary and integrated modalities that are available as um, routine care. Um, because right now, quite honestly, in, in clinical care, I'm boxed in quite a bit by what insurance will pay for and what the hospital system offers. And so with this um, GRACE trial, 
if we can provide evidence that these complementary and integrated modalities will change the pain level and increase quality of life for our patients with sickle cell disease pain so that maybe we can get their uh, they're more implemented in the hospital systems, that insurance is more willing to pay for them to make them more accessible. Um, that would be awesome. I have to give a shout out really for the Biostatistics Corps. Um, with their consultation, we were able to hold on to what we wanted, which was really a a patient-informed design um, because our, our patient advisory stakeholders, um, we call them citizen scientists, um, they had a lot of input on number one, what they wanted for interventions. You know, so guided relaxation and acupuncture came from them, not us, um, as well as they wanted really that what I called the smart design, you know, the sequential randomization, that we were able to change what we were offering based on um, how a person was doing with their pain management also, you know, came from them. But how to do that in the most rigorous scientific way um, with the statistics that were available just it was really incredible working with the Biostats team to figure that all out.